Hey humans! Welcome to my new tutorial. Today's tutorial is inspired by OnePlus. They are a good phone company and are doing amazing stuff. So let's see what we will be creating today. Jump into After Effects and create a new composition. For today, I'm using the 1920 by 1080 resolution. The frame rate is 30. The duration for the animation will be 10 seconds. Press OK. Next let's import this project's assets. Drag them into the project's window. Perfect. Select this OnePlus vector file and drag it into the timeline. Select the layer and press S to open scale. Let's make this logo a little bit larger. Next align it to the middle of the comp. Unfortunately, the align tab is not useful for this. I'll have to adjust this manually. This looks nice. Now select this layer. Right click and choose create shape layers from it. I had already broken down this OnePlus logo to different layers in Adobe Illustrator, to make it easier to animate in After Effects. Now open up this new OnePlus Outlines layer. Let's rename these groups. This will smoothen our workflow. It's time to start animating. We are going to start with this square. Select this square group and open it up to see its attributes. Next click on this add button and choose twist. Next open up this twist attribute. Click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe on the angle property and then set it to 1219. Move the time indicator marker forward in time to the 20 frames mark. Then set the angle value back to zero. Next up is the red rectangle. Open it up and the click on the add icon. For this we will use the trim paths property. Go into the trim paths. Then move the time marker to the 10 frames mark. Click on the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe for the end. Then set it value to 0. Go forward to the 20 frames mark and set the end value to 100%. Next up is the plus icon. Open it up and then click on the add icon. For this we will use the offset paths property. Now go into the offset paths and click on the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe at the 20 frames mark, for the amount value. Set this value to minus 2. Move forward to the 1 seconds and set the amount to 8. Then, move forward to the 1 minute and 12 frames mark and set the amount to 0. Next up is the 1 icon. Open it up and then click on the transform property. Move the time marker to the 1 second mark. Create a keyframe for the scale and set its value to 0. Also add a keyframe for the opacity and set it to 0%. Next, move the time indicator marker to the 1 minute and 17 frames. Then set the scale and opacity values back to 100%. Next up is the OnePlus text. Open its group up. Then click on the add icon and choose trim paths. Open up the trim paths options. Move the time indicator to the 1 second mark. Add a keyframe for the start and set it to 100%. Next, move forward in time to the 1 second and 25 frames and set the start value to 0%. Also set the offset value to 52 degrees. Now let's close off all these drop downs. Select the OnePlus outlines and press U to view all keyframes. Highlight all these keyframes. 
Right click on them and select keyframe assistant then easy ease. Open the graph editor and adjust the graph handles like this. Make sure that you are editing the speed graph. Now as you can see the plus icon on the OnePlus logo is visible. Let's fix this. Go into the plus icon group and then under its transform properties. We'll use the opacity. Make sure the time indicator is at the 0 seconds mark. Set a keyframe for the opacity with the value set to 0. Move forward to the 20 frames mark and set it to 100%. Select both of these keyframes. Then right click and choose toggle hold keyframes. Select this one plus outlines layer. Right click and pre-compose. Rename this to one plus. Press OK. Then create a duplicate of this pre-comp. Select the bottom copy and rename it to shadow. With the shadow comp selected, head over to the effects and presets tab. Look for the fill effect and apply it. Let's create some room here. Set the fill color to black. Before we create the shadow, let's create a background. Right click here, click on new then select solid. For this we'll use white as the color for the background. Rename the solid to BG and press OK. Now place this solid layer at the bottom. Let's now make the shadow. Select the shadow comp. Head over to the effects and presets tab and look for the CC radial blur effect and apply it. Now, change the type to straight zoom. Next click on here and place the center to the top right of logo. This will give the illusion that the light is coming from this direction. Cool. Now change the amount to 4 and the quality to 68. Select the shadow comp. Then press T to view the opacity. Set this value to 25%. Now select all these layers. Right click and pre-compose. Rename this to logo and press OK. Next we are creating the blinds. Right click here and create a new solid. Rename this to white solid and press OK. Let's zoom out a little bit. We need another solid. Simply right click here. Select new then solid. For this we will rename it to red a solid. For the color, I'm setting it to the OnePlus Red Hex code which is E726. Now select both of these solids. Press P to toggle position. Set the X position of the red solid to 1920. For the white solid set it to 0. Let's animate them. Move the time marker to the 3 seconds mark. Click on the stopwatch icons to add position keyframes for both solids. Actually, let's move this marker a few frames forward. Now let's add the keyframes. Move the marker back to the 3 seconds mark. Then adjust the position of the solids like this. Select both of these solids. Press U to view its keyframes. Select all these keyframes. Right click and choose keyframe assistant then easy ease. Now, go into the graph editor and adjust the speed graphs as follows. Next select both of these solids. Right click and pre-compose. Rename this to blinds. Make sure the move all attributes is selected and press OK. The shadow does not look as good. Let's fix it. Select this bottom one plus comp. Then change the amount of the CC radial blur effect to 8.
Now let's add the Never Settle logo. In the Projects window. Drag this image we had imported earlier into the timeline. Press S and scale it down. Next let's draw a mask over this image so that we can have the Never and Settle as two different layers. But first let me lock these two layers so that I don't accidentally move them. Select the image, then choose the pen tool. Draw a mask around the Settle text. Now select the image and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it. Select this bottom copy and close it up. Select the top copy and press M to view the masks. Then tick the inverted box. Next rename the bottom image to Settle and the top image to Never. Let's scale these images down a little bit. Select both images and press S to view the scale property. Lower the scale percentage. Next position these two images as follows. Perfect. Now select the Settle image. Right click and pre-compose. Rename it to Settle. Make sure the Move All Attributes option is selected and press OK. Do the same for the Never image. Now, select this Never Comp. Then head over to the Effects and Presets tab and look for the Fill effect. Apply this to the comp. For the fill color, I'll just set it to this red color using the eyedropper. Awesome! Select the Settle comp and add the fill effect to it. For this just change its fill color to white. Next make both of these comps 3D layers by clicking on this cube icon. Select the Settle comp. Then select the Anchor Point tool. Grab this Anchor Point and position it at the top center of this Settle Text Rectangle. Do the same for the Never Comp but for this, place the Anchor Point at the bottom. Let's animate these two comps. Move the Time Marker to around 4 seconds and 19 frames. Select both comps and press R to view Rotation property. Then click on the stopwatch icon to add an X rotation keyframe for the Never Comp. Move the time marker to the 4 seconds mark and rotate the comp through the X axis like this. Next select the Settle Comp. Move the time marker to the 4 seconds and 19 frames. Click on the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe for the X rotation value. Go back to the 4 seconds mark. Then rotate it like this. Let's close these off. Now select both of these comps and press U to view the keyframes. Then select all these keyframes. Right click on them and choose Keyframe Assistant then Easy Ease. Open Graph Editor then adjust the graph as follows.
As you can see, we are having some weird lines here. Let's fix this. Move the time marker to around 4 seconds and 4 frames. Select both the never and settle comps. Then press the ALT key and left bracket to trim the compositions. Let's add some drop shadow to our blinds to make the white solid visible. Select the blinds layer. Let's unlock it first by pressing this icon. Then look for the drop shadow effect and apply it to this comp. Change the direction to 180 degrees. Then increase the softness value to around 120. I don't like the timing of the OnePlus text. Let's fix it. Unlock the logo comp. Double click to open it. Open up this top OnePlus comp and select the OnePlus outlines layer. Press U to bring up all its keyframes. Now grab this keyframe and move it backwards. Let's adjust the keyframes for the Never Comp and Settle Comp. Select both comps and press U to view keyframes. Select both keyframes and then open the graph editor. Highlight the graphs and then press this icon to easy ease them. Now adjust the graph handles like this. Now our animation is complete. You can get the project files and assets by supporting me on Patreon. The links will be in the video description below. Follow me on Twitter and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.